Don't you just love that song? I'm on my way down to Little Rock, Arkansas to check on my newest store that opened there in the, the company I work for, Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers, and I got a phone call about halfway down saying they were going to run out of meat. Kind of hard to sell steak burgers without meat. So I've had to stop in two different locations uh, within a few hundred miles on the way down, and I'm loading up a bunch of meat in my Porsche Cayenne Turbo. It is now a frozen meat wagon. The car had a nice rich leather smell and now it smells like something else from a cow. Oh well. Never before had so much responsibility been placed on one of my hoopty fleet. If the Cayenne failed to deliver its cargo, the store might not stay open, and the amount of lost sales would cost more money than what I paid for my cheap turbo Porsche. Considering what I had just fixed a broken vacuum fitting the night before with duct tape, I was relieved when I made it to Arkansas. The next morning, I noticed my very effective repair needed some reinforcement, and after some very skilled mechanicking on my part, I cruised into work. And of course, no Sunday is complete without whipped cream and a cherry. I'm left-handed, this isn't good for the camera, but lefties rule, right? Okay, and let me get you. Cherry on top. Yeah, give me a spoon. I'm going to break into this. Yeah. Get you some of that. <laughs> Freddy's Frozen Custard now open in North Little Rock. I'm going to break into this beautiful <laughs> turtle sundae. It mm. looks sweet. We'll send it back to you. Despite my duct tape fix, the old thing has made it here and done perfectly. It's also been a great work truck to get supplies to this newly opened store behind me but it's given me time to reflect and I sort of thought about the five things I like the most about this car and the five things I really hate. My favorite part about the Cayenne Turbo has to be the engine. Of course it's super powerful but it also sounds great and then they actually took the time to make the engine look gorgeous under here. It's like they sculpted the plastic to make it look like an old school muscly, mean thing. And I really, really dig it. Oh. Oh. You are so beautiful to me. I also really like the key. It's like a little miniature Cayenne. And I'm really happy they stayed true to Porsche form and put the ignition on the wrong side of the car. Oh yeah. Another thing I really like about the Porsche is the handling and the ride. This thing is really heavy and there's no getting around that, but I've always liked a solid, heavy feeling ride. And then, even though it's massive, the handling is actually really good. I'm sure it has something to do with the air ride system, which is really doing its job. Very happy. The other thing I really like about this the other thing I really like about this Cayenne is the interior quality. For the era, it's actually really nice. A lot of leather stitching and soft touch leather, and it's a nice place to be. I just... The first thing I really don't like about the Cayenne is the rear cargo capacity. It's pretty small back there and when you fold down the seat, that's as flat as it goes. I mean the only thing I could think of that would be worse for a rear seat folding down would be a bean bag. Another minus to the Cayenne in most luxury cars of this era and before is the sat nav stereo system. which is archaic and also kind of broken. 
System error, TV, unknown, 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 not available. And then kind of like a Touchtone Pictures logo. Even I have to admit, another thing I don't like about it is the styling is pretty awkward, especially the nose of this thing. It just looks like an angry catfish. Ah, look at the Archaean turtle, and I'm mad. I really am mad. I'm mad. I'm angry. Oh. Another thing I really don't like about the Cayenne Turbo is this keyless entry system. You have it on the key, but it's only one button for lock and unlock. So you don't know if you're far away from the car if you're locking it or unlocking it. And it also has a very primitive keyless get in there system. It's not a keyless go. You can walk up to it and it'll unlock the door just by detecting the key. You can also lock it by pushing the button which is all fine and dandy, except it's got a mind of its own. It won't unlock the other doors sometimes. And also, why have this keyless approach entry system, or keyless, what do you call it when it doesn't have the button to start the car while the key's in your pocket? Why even have this system without the keyless start? This is more of a personal problem with mine, but the rear hatch won't go up, and I don't think duct tape's gonna fix it. After sorting this thing out and a nice thorough shakedown cruise where I've really gotten to know this thing, I have to say I would do this all over again. It has been a fantastic truck to use for the week and I'm really looking forward to doing a lot more with it. Now it just needs to make it home, but I'm not worried because I have duct tape.